Am I the asshole for not cleaning up my daughter's poop? I, 29 female, have always had a tough time dealing with anything that seems gross. When I was a kid, I had a dog that crapped in the house on very rare occasions and I would literally gag and almost vomit when cleaning it up. Anything that gives off a strong putrid smell makes my eyes water and throws me into a retching fit. I love kids and do really well with them, but because of my aversion to bad smells and knowing that gross scenarios are common, especially among young children, I had resigned to the idea of probably not ever having any of my own. My husband, 31 male, and I married two years ago. I have always been upfront with him about my stance on having children, and we talked about it plenty of times before getting married. My husband is very much a family man, and he assured me that if we did have kids, he would have no issue being the one to deal with poopy diapers and things of that nature. After thinking about his offer, I agreed. Now, let me just say, I absolutely love my daughter to pieces. She brings so much joy into my life and she makes me smile and laugh every single day. I change all of the pee diapers. I can handle spit up and I do all of her laundry and bottle cleaning. The one thing I will not do is change her poopy diaper as per my agreement with my husband. The other night, she had a huge explosion around 2 a.m. I heard her crying on the baby monitor, and when I went in to check on her, it had gone all the way up her back and into her hair. Blech. The mattress cover and the mattress itself were also soiled. Blech. I immediately started getting dizzy and my eyes began to burn. Blech. So I ran and got my husband. After he got her cleaned up, I worked on soothing her and getting her back to sleep. Meanwhile, my husband began to clean up her crib. Eventually, I also fell asleep. The next morning, my husband was in a really sour mood. I asked him what was wrong and he said that he had slept horribly because of the situation from the night before. He then went on a tangent and started to accuse me of not helping enough and he said that he was sick of being on poop duty. I reminded Our him agreement and that I do plenty of other things in regards to taking care of our daughter. We are both still on parental leave and so it's not like he needed to be up early for work or anything. It's been a few days, but he still has an attitude any time I ask him to change her poopy diapers. So am I the asshole? Edit. Okay, some of you have suggested that I add in a few things that I've discussed in the comment section. So here we go. In a situation where I was alone with my daughter, I absolutely would not let her sit in a soiled diaper. I would change it, obviously. It would probably involve retching and vomiting on my end, but I'm not going to have her sitting in filth for hours. If my husband is present, I 100% am going to ask him to handle anything poop related because that is what assured me he would do. I am fine handling vomit, snot, and literally everything else. The poopy diapers elicit a physical response, which makes it extremely difficult for me to handle. In addition to that, I do all of her bottle cleaning and laundry. I am the one bathing and feeding her 90% of the time. And when she wakes up at night, I am usually the first to check on her. Sometimes I will wake my husband up if she has a poopy diaper. However, if he hears her crying on the baby monitor, he will not take the initiative in getting out of bed to check on her unless I ask him to. Update, am I the asshole for not cleaning up my daughter's poop? Hey guys, I wanted to jump on here and give you all an update. 
After reading through your comments, I quickly realized that my aversion to changing my daughter's poopy diapers is not normal. As I mentioned in my original post, I had always assumed that I simply have a weak stomach. I have discovered that not to be the case. A few of you suggested that I seek out therapy to get to the root of this issue. I was able to get in to see a psychiatrist who diagnosed me with having sensory process disorder coupled with copophobia. I'm a little embarrassed sharing this diagnosis, but it is what it is. My psychiatrist suspects that those things together are what result in my severe physical response to poopy diapers. To quickly summarize, I typically become extremely lightheaded, will sometimes begin to sweat, and most often retch uncontrollably, which usually results in vomiting. I haven't been able to get in to see a therapist for regular appointments yet, but this is all in the works, so I wanted to thank those of you who politely suggested that I seek help. In addition to this, my husband and I are trying our best to work through our issues. Presently, we felt it would be best to spend a few days apart, and my parents are staying with me in the meantime. A lot of you called me a terrible mother, said I didn't deserve to have children, or that CPS should take my daughter away. I received quite a few nasty messages as well. I thought these were very disturbing comments to throw at a brand new mother, and I do want to clarify that I would never leave my daughter in a soiled diaper if I were alone with her. Thank you again to anyone who said anything kind or helpful, and I apologize that I wasn't able to respond to everyone. That's my update. Am I the asshole for refusing to babysit my sister's kids any further after her son lied to her about me? My sister is a single mother with two children, an 11 and 7-year-old. The 7-year-old is a boy while the other one is a girl. She works a lot and doesn't have a lot of money to afford babysitting, so I started watching her kids for free. There was an incident one day where the seven-year-old had gotten mad at me because I wouldn't let him jump on the couch. I explained to him that he could get hurt and he threw a tantrum, which was normal. It's what young kids do. Well, around the time my sister gets home, he starts suddenly bawling his eyes out and running towards her. I'm confused as he was just fine a second ago, but I followed behind him to greet her. He immediately starts on a rant about how I had a man in the house and how neither him nor his sister had eaten at all that day. My sister was rightfully pissed and started asking questions. I shook my head and said he was lying and that she had cameras so we should probably sit down and watch them. She said no and that I needed to go before she called the police. So I left. A few hours later, she calls me and apologizes, saying she watched the footage and saw no man enter the house at all, and that she had seen her son had refused to eat dinner. I made them. She asked when I could come by next, as she hoped I understood the misunderstanding, but I said I would no longer be babysitting for her. She said that he's just seven, but I'm not for it. Was I the asshole? the asshole for refusing to be my best friend's maid of honor after she told me my fiance is not invited to the wedding? I've been dating my fiance for 10 years and we're expecting a baby, which is due in March. We'll elope before the baby arrives for legal reasons, but we'll do it in January so we'll be able to organize a small party for family and close friends. No more than 20 people. My best friend and her future husband will be invited, though. So, straight to the point. My best friend is getting married in a month. She's been with her fiancé for a year, and they got engaged within six months. Personally, that's too rushed in my opinion, but after realizing that it's her life, so if she believes this is the right man, this is her decision. 
Once they got engaged around April, she asked me to be her maid of honor. She then started telling me the plans about how she plans on having a huge celebration with over 200 guests. Vaccination rates are very high in my country and most restrictions are eased since cases are also very low. Naturally, I assumed my fiance would be invited as well. My best friend has known him for 10 years, and they're also friendly. Most of our friends are married, so their spouses get an automatic invite. I assumed my fiancé would be invited too, but my BFF decided to notify me that he's not invited. Literally yesterday, during a chat we had, and I told her about the suit my fiancé bought. She told me... Um, I never told you X is invited, though. I asked her what she meant by that. She said that only married and long-term couples are invited to the wedding. I reminded her I'm engaged to that man, we're expecting a child together, and I've been with him for 10 years, while we're also planning to get eloped in a few months. She objected and said she didn't invite him because she doesn't see our relationship as valid if it took us so long to make our relationship legal and how if we've been waiting 10 years to take the next step, then our relationship bond is probably not that strong. I told her that's not her decision to make and she doesn't get to decide whether my relationship is valid or not. I insisted on her decision and said, I'm not inviting him. I decide who comes and who doesn't. And since I don't think your relationship is as strong as it should be, you may break up soon. And I don't want an ex existing in my wedding pictures. Accept it or leave. I am not in a mood to deal with that drama. I told her she's being ridiculous, assuming that we might break up based on her bizarre beliefs and reminded her I've been with that man for 10 years while she's been with her man for less than one year. And she is ridiculous for thinking she can dictate who's serious and who isn't. I told her I'm dropping the maid of honor role because I refuse to be disrespected like that and told her she can search for someone new to torture, but not me. Our mutual friends have told me that I'm the asshole for dropping out of the wedding and how I should respect the bride's decision. I respect it, but I won't be a part of it. So am I the asshole for refusing to be my best friend's maid of honor after she told me my fiance is not invited to the wedding?